Okay, good afternoon everybody. Testing out my new Rode microphone. I'm not actually sure if it's working or not. It seems to be giving me a few troubles. The first thing that I had an issue with, you know, I got this one, this one. Uh, the first thing I had an issue with is I put it on and it wasn't working because I didn't have the battery in it. Um, of course you don't get a battery, you have to have a battery. Luckily all the smoke detectors, the smoke detectors in uh, my apartment uh, use the same battery as the microphone, so I had some spares. So that worked out well. So I'm sort of doing two things here today. I just want to test the microphone um, to see how it works on my A7S. Um, so I'm shooting on my A7S with a 24 to 70 zoom. And to and to just talk about to talk about my channel and kind of how I got here and and of and about some of the videos that I've made previously. Um, anyway, just a short just a short vlog and just a chat. I just want to talk to you guys and um, yeah, like I said, um, I don't know if I said that already, but I'm not going out because it is New Year's but I'm not actually going out anywhere tonight. It appears that the microphone is working. I just uh, I just tested the. I just tested the microphone then it seems to be working. Um, I only monitored her on the, was only monitoring, I can't, sorry I can't speak today. I was only monitoring it on the um, A7S but it seems to be, um, seems to be picking up the signal. Yeah, so, I mean, one thing that, uh, one video that I am going to make, which probably not all of you have watched, but it's the video about uh, my my search to buy a Porsche 911. Now, when I say I'm buying a Porsche 911, if you've watched the video, I'm not buying a new Porsche 911. I'm buying a used 911, probably one that's close to 10 years old, which would be what they call a 997 911, even possibly a 996 911, which is even the earlier model, depending on the price. Um, I'm working to a, to a budget and I'm pretty fussy and I seem to be taking a long time in making up my mind on this Porsche. Uh, a good friend of mine has a uh, 997, a Porsche 911, 997 GT3, and I think he, uh, I, I think he's a bit concerned how I'm taking so long to make up my mind. I mean, I have, at the moment I drive an Audi, but it's an old Audi, it's over 10 years old, and it needs to be changed over, but because I'm not in Sydney a lot, um, I don't really want to buy a car that devalues, I want to buy a car that appreciates, and if you are familiar with Porsche and 911s, I mean, I'm, I should say it the correct way, it is actually Porsche, not Porsche, so I'll, I'll keep saying it's Porsche from now on. Um, if you're familiar with Porsche, um, the 911 really does hold its value if you buy the right model. In fact, it depreciates. Uh, less than 10 years ago, I was looking at buying a, I was looking at buying a uh, 964. 964? The 1988, 1989, 911, I can't remember, I think it was 964. The one with the big duck tail, the big fin at the back. I was thinking about buying one of those. And in Australia at the time, they were, they were selling quite, quite difficultly at, at somewhere between 24,000 Australian dollars to 40,000 Australian dollars. In fact, I remember a turbo one coming up, which are now in, the, in excess of, I think, 200,000 Australian dollars coming up for about 65, 70. Uh, and I didn't buy it because I thought it was too much for that, that model. Um, yeah, so even, even the one I was looking at was, you know, at 30 or 40,000, I think they're now selling for 160,000, 170,000. So it's crazy, they appreciate. Um, I'm hoping the 997 will be the same. I think it will. I'm looking for a manual. I'm looking for a 911, 997 Carrera S in manual. That's my preference. I would not say no to a 996 GT3 but the GT3 is more expensive. Uh, 997 GT3 is out of my budget. Um, yeah, so that's, that's something that, that I wanna make another video on. And I probably, in fact, I probably like almost made the video on it now just talking about it. But you know, it's a channel update and I just thought I'd update you on that. I guess you're probably wondering, I guess you're probably wondering, sorry, Sometimes, I, uh, because the A7S I can't flick up the screen and I don't have a monitor, I don't know whether I'm in frame or not. So, I have a mirror behind my camera and I can actually see my face in the screen in the camera. So that's how I monitor myself. You know, this whole vlogging thing, honestly, you, you, I live, my apartment is, our apartment is not very big. Uh, it's on two levels, but it's not very big. 
and I'm sort of this is like our kitchen area so I kind of just have my tripod set up and I can see myself in the mirror in the kitchen and and that's how I frame myself so um, yeah so that's why I keep looking in the wrong direction because I'm trying to work out if I'm on frame but I appear to be in frame um, so uh, I've had I mean I'm very happy with my channel at the moment uh, I mean it's it's growing and it's growing slowly and and I'm really I'm really enjoying all the feedback that I'm getting and I'm getting you know I'm getting a lot more comments now than I've than I've had before which is really good I've also gained you know I've gained a, quite a lot of subscribers over the last month I mean for me I think I've I think I've added another 60 or 60 or 65 subscribers which you know which is great I'm so happy with I'm so happy that you guys want to want to watch what I'm putting up um, my first goal was a hundred I've made that hundred subscribers my second goal is a thousand um, obviously I, I understand it's going to take me a lot longer to go to a thousand but I hope I can keep making content that that you guys relate to and that you want to comment and that you want to like and yeah I mean I mean I don't know if I've explained this before but you know the reason why I set up a YouTube channel is is I mean I've had my YouTube obviously since I've had it since 2006 um, and I I posted my first video uh, if you don't know in I think it was June this year middle of the year I think we were traveling somewhere and I thought I thought that I, I wanted to do it for a while and I was thinking about it and then you know I was a bit nervous about it and apprehensive that I would have not have the time but you know I really wanted to do a channel I really wanted to to get better at filmmaking I wanted to use all my camera equipment that I kept buying because I just kept buying you know a7s and GoPros and I wasn't really using it to their full extent so now I am using it um, it makes me realize how much more equipment I actually do need um, in saying that I mean you can start your vlog with you know with your g7x I mean this g7x the g7x is a great camera I mean a lot of the times when I'm filming here I just put it on the Manfrotto tripod and I just film with that and you know I have the micro muff on top but the a7x the g7x is actually a great g7x mark ii is actually a great camera um but basically I've you know I've worked you know many years ago I worked in I worked in the fashion industry and in the fashion industry I did a lot of things I I did um everything from starting very very young in retail and then working up to buying and then having my own business which wholesaled uh, fashion brands in Australia international sort of a niche sort of fashion brands like streetwear brands and I did that for a good good seven years and it was a reasonable business and then you know the market changed and and I got bored with it so it was time for a change so what I did then is I did a um, I did a marketing degree I went back to university and I studied marketing and I got a bachelor of business uh, majoring in marketing and uh, business analytics um, and then after that I also did another course a postgraduate course. my battery just died uh, this is the problem with the Sony a7s the batteries are terrible I have four batteries for it I think I don't think they've changed it for the a7s2 but the battery life is just shocking um, it they just last they they're supposed to last an hour but they don't last an hour um, yeah, so what I was saying is then I went on to do a postgraduate degree in, uh, in project management, which really wasn't, which is kind of what I do in my job in a way, but I do more content, uh, multimedia sort of thing. I mean, there is, it is managing content. So, um, that was to help with my new position that I'm in, that I've been in for the last three and a half years, four years. Yeah. So that's a brief rundown and, um, you know, I edit a lot of video content for my for my job and you know create a lot of we create a lot of content Natasha and I work together and so I this was just a natural this was just a natural progression it was a natural progression to to start a channel to start making content uh, you know being in a vlog format or being a review and and then take it from there um, and it's a learning process and I like learning new things and, and learning YouTube is great and I'm and I'm getting used to it and you know I'm getting I know that I'm more comfortable in front of the camera than I was on the first video and I'm not so worried about filming in public anymore um, you, you get used to all these things and I watch a lot of people on YouTube I watch 
I, Justine. You know, I obviously watch Casey. I watch Mr. Ben Brown. I watch Sean Duras. Uh, I watched, uh, I watched John, Ols John Ol Olsen, is it? Olsen? He's great. I mean, all these people I watch and I get inspiration from. Um, you know, inspiration and, you know, and, and it helps. It helps to know there's other people out there who have started in the same position and, and have so many subscribers and have so much great content. And their content obviously just gets better and better and better. Um, yeah, so anyway, just a quick, quick update for the new year. I mean, it's New Year's Eve. Uh, I'm not going out tonight because uh, I don't actually drink that much anymore. I actually don't drink really. I drink, I, I'm a bit of a weird drink. I drink when we're on holidays or I have a drink when I'm in a business, at a business dinner. But I don't really go out to drink or drink so much at home. I don't really drink at home. So Natasha's not back until uh, Tuesday. So tonight I'm just going to stay in. I'm going to edit some, edit this video, edit this vlog so I can post it tonight for you guys. Um, and I also want to have an early start tomorrow. I'm thinking about going up the coast again. Hopefully it'll be a, it'll be a nice day and, and I can go for a, go to the beach and go for a swim because I really enjoy um, doing that while I'm here. Um, here for another couple of weeks now, another few weeks. So trying to make the most of the summer because London at the moment is pretty miserable and, and you know, gray and foggy as it always is um, but I appreciate all the comments um, I am gonna make I, I know I'm gonna say this but I am gonna make my Porsche video another Porsche video I want to do another video on the Osmo mobile um, it seems to be I mean I have the Osmo mobile and I have the extension bracket to put the microphone on I want to try and see if I can get the Rode VideoMic Pro to work with the Osmo mobile I know other people have uh, there's a guy on YouTube which I'll post a link. I'll post a link below, um, who posted a couple of videos about connecting it up. Uh, I haven't managed to try it. A lot of other people say it needs to be counterbalanced, and then, you know, the iPhone 7 Plus is too big for it. So I haven't tried it, but um, it definitely, uh, it definitely would need an external microphone. I think the Osmo Mobile, uh, the iPhone microphone is is really. I don't know. I find the iPhone, uh, the microphone on the iPhone 7 Plus not as good as the iPhone 6s Plus. Are you finding that as well if you have one? Because for me, it doesn't seem to work as well. Anyway, I think that's the end of the vlog for day, today. Anyway, I think that's the end of the vlog today. Uh, just wanted to have a chat. Uh, like I said, I wanted to test out my Rode VideoMic Pro. And um, yeah, and uh, just give you a brief update on my channel and how I got here and and just to share that with you guys and to, to show you where I've come from so that you know that um, I'm here for the long haul. I'm not going away quickly. I'm going to keep making these. Um, you know, sometimes your motivation on YouTube is difficult because, you know, sometimes you get very little views and you see other people's videos and they get, you know, 15,000, 20,000 views in, in, in an hour. You know what I mean? Uh, I think my best video has had 15,000 views and that's been a couple of months. And that's the GoPro, the ProTune GoPro video. Um, but I'm really happy. I'm happy with how I've got so far, where I've got to so far. And I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep posting videos and I'm going to keep getting better. And please give me as many comments as possible. Uh, what you'd like to see, you know, just... I'll always answer the comments. Uh, I'll always answer your comments and I'm always willing to, to have a chat. So, um, anyway, bye for now. Oh, happy new year. 2017 is going to be a good one. See you soon. Bye. Oh, I should show you what the camera setup looks like. So, Rode VideoMic Pro, Sony A7S, uh, 24 to 70 F4. Not the expensive one, not the F2.8. Okay, that's it. See you soon.